Hello, welcome. Let's provide answer to this question. In a diagram, triangle PQR is an enlargement of triangle PST. PQR is an enlargement of PST. The length of PS is 4 cm. PS 4 cm. QS is 2 cm and QR is 10 cm. We have to find the length of ST. If the length of PQ is equal to PR, we have to find the area of triangle PQR. This is BC 2024. So let's see how we can do it. Now, under similarities of a triangle, if you are looking for the one triangle being enlarged or shrink to the other, we need to know what is the scale factor that is used to transform the original PST to become the enlarged PQR. So we begin with a scale factor which we know that to find the scale factor, we look at the enlarged length or the length of the enlarged figure. Length of enlarged So the length of the enlarged figure divided by length of original figure. So in this case, our scale factor, let me use SF, will be equal to, we can compare any of the size of the enlarged figure to the corresponding size of the original. So when I take the triangle, P, Q, R, that's the bigger triangle, the enlarged figure. I can look at the length from P to Q as the length, the side to the left, right? The triangle here, the side to the left is from P all the way to Q. That will be running through 4 and 2, making use of what? Uh, 6. So I'll be having P, Q divided by the corresponding size meaning the left side of the original figure, P, S, T, which has this length. So I'll be having P, S. So what dimension is there? P, Q, 4 plus 2. That will give us 6. Then P, S. P, S is going to be 4. So we know 2 can divide it. So 2 here, 3, 2 here, 2. 3 divided by 2 will give us 1.5. So 1.5 is a scale factor which is used to transform the original figure to give us the enlarged figure. So if I'm, I want this uh, side, PR, I will only have to multiply whatever is here, whatever value I have here by 1.2. Let's check it out. If I'm looking for PQ, I only multiply PS. PS by what? 1.5. And what is 1.5? 3 divided by 2. 2 here, 1. 2 here, 2. 2, 3, 6. Do we get it? So the measurement times the scale factor give us the length of the enlarged figure. So let's see. We have found, we are looking for the length of ST. ST, which is of the original shape. We are not looking for the scale factor. But now that we know the ST, we can also compare it with what? The, the sign we have as QR. So I only multiply here to get here. Meaning you divide here to get here. Or our scale factor still equals to comparison of this side will be the longer side QR corresponding side will be ST. I can compare them also. But what do I know about the scale factor? I know the scale factor to be 1.5. So I can still write 1.5 or 3 out of 2 equals to. Okay, let me use 1.5. 1.5 is 
1.5 equals to QR. That is what we are looking for. No, we have it. We have the QR as 10 divided by ST. So you know, if you cross multiply, this will come here and divide. So your ST is nothing but 10 divided by 1.5. And this could be 10 divided by, let me just make it, uh, divided by 1.5 is 3 out of 2, right? So we can change this to multiplication and flip over the second fraction. So from here, I'll be having my length st equals to 10 times 2 divided by 3. This is going up. This is coming down. So we have 20 divided by 3. You know, 20 divided by 3. 3 will go into 26 times. That is 18. Remember that 2. So we're having 6.66666. We can have a centimeter as two decimal places. We are really centimeter, right? So centimeter. So the length of ST is going to be 6.666 or 6.67 centimeter. All right. Now for the second part, they say if PQ is the same as this, it's only telling us that this diagram, the PQR, triangle PQR is going to be an isosceles what? Triangle. So if it is an isosceles, then it means here will be 6 centimeter, here will be 6 centimeter. So if I draw a line, it will divide this, since this is the same as this, it will divide the 10 centimeter into 2. So here will be 5 centimeter, here will be what? 5 centimeter. How do we find area of a triangle? Half the base times the height. So we need to know what the height also is. So we are going to use, let me put here PQR, let me put T here. So now we need to know the height here. So I'll be saying that from, let me have it, Roman number two, from the triangle P T R, you know P T R here. Using the Pythagoras theorem, I'll be having six square equals to a square plus five square. Hypotenuse is the longer side, the shorter side, addition with your squares. So let's bring this one here. 36 minus 25, 5 square, 25 coming to the left equals to each square. What do we do from here? We, we can subtract this and have 11, right? 11 plus this, okay. So 11 equals to each square. So from here, what do we do? We are looking for the age. So we find the square root of both sides. So find On both sides, meaning root 11 equals root h squared. That makes h equals to the root of what? 11. So the height of the triangle we're dealing with, which is this, I believe we have here to be 5 centimeter, 5 centimeter. This will be the root of 11 centimeter. So if we are asked to find the area, so area of triangle PQR will be half the base times what? The height. And what is the base? The base is PQ. That is the longest side here. That will be 5 plus 5, 10. So we are having half of 10 times the height which we had from the calculation as the root of what? 11. So half of this will be giving you 5 root 11 centimeter squared. We could break down the root 11. We know root 11 is between 9 
and what? 16, right? Which is 3 and 4. I mean the perfect square. So it's between 9 and 16 as a perfect square. So it is between. So we can begin from 3.5. And when you square 3.5, it will be bigger than 11. So you reduce it. You end up getting something like 3.3. So 3.3 times 5 will give you the actual area. Since we are not using calculator, we can leave our answer in this form. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and comment. Bye-bye.